of that now. Let's see if that's any better. Not too bad. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Three shots, three or four shots in the end, this will be done. Bad. I think we go with that one, don't you? Then, uh, then we'll turn that over. And well, actually, we'll go with the horse file and then we'll turn it over. Do this. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way you're going to get that groove out of there. Um, and what do you think? Fill around, it's got some fish. Uh, I think. And actually, I think I've got. I have a lot to learn. I think I've got one right here. <laughs> Probably still use the store bought ones, but it's, it's a, a sense of pride, and we thought it would be something fun to do while we were up here. Were these all made today? Uh, well, we probably cut these all out in the last couple of days, yeah, from blanks. You can cut them out pretty, pretty quickly. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been here for few weeks this summer and I was here for about six weeks last summer. We're going to be transplanting ourselves here. Uh -huh. We're moving here so I can be closer to Caleb and uh, finish up my apprenticeship. Nice. I didn't really like the city so I was outside a lot in camp. I think I made my first when I was about 11 and I started the business probably about oh, 22, 23 years ago. Mostly summer because I was a school teacher but now I moved here full time about 10 minutes away and so I make boats. So, yeah, it's a great activity. You know, it's a little tiny. Every now and again I get somebody who's, who's going to come along and sort of think they're going to be a paddle maker. And we have a good time at the end of the day, but most of them go, well, they want to get home to a hot tub. And, and, <laughs> and soak their sore arms, right? <laughs> That's right. So, they mostly did, go did in. Did you do both? Really yeah. <laughs> That's right. They go, oh yeah, maybe I'll look at another. Or maybe I'll just buy a paddle. <laughs>